Eh, the loading times are not wonderful, but they don't usually take too long. Although it's probably going to take a little bit longer now that I'm recording it. Okay, now all the monsters are more powerful. Level. Oh yeah! Um, one of the cool things, of course, is if you leave a level for a while, I think it's like a th every third level cancels the first level or something like that, so um, if you move three levels away from a level, then that level is recycled. All the monsters are back, all the chests are closed, and that actually does kind of give you the unfair advantage that if you know that there's a whole bunch of chests in the area, you can frequently go to that place and get a whole bunch more stuff in those chests. But the same problem happens in Titan Quest, so it's not such a bad thing. Shoot him in the face! Make him a disgrace! Okay, Glancing Blow is basically when you didn't do any damage because all the da- Ooh, wow! That hurt. All the damage you did was absorbed by their armor. And yeah, you can- What's nice is you can keep ahead of it, even on the hardest difficulty. Booyah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm playing all this with one hand right now. Shrine of Mana. Do I care? Here, I can go hog wild with this. Uh, the Shrines of Mana don't actually give you mana regeneration, they just give you full mana at that point. So I could go over here and kill all the wonderful creatures that are over here. Ow. That hurt because I wasn't careful. And then come back over here and... Shazam! Oh, and you know how I was talking about how my pet is almost as powerful as me? Well, it can be just as powerful as me Oops, if you fish for fish. That's right. You collect... Oops. Stupid, stupid. Stupid, stupid fish. Okay, so these the outer circle gets smaller and it gets to about the size of the inner circle, and when they reach, you lift it up and you get a fishy. I got a tunnel shark. So let's use that tunnel shark, shall we? Inventory. Uh, mm, fish. Yeah, they have different categories for the different things. So, booyah. Ta-da! My guy has turned into a duh, tunneler thing. <laughs> Now let's see him go do his thing. And yeah, you can keep collecting fish from the same hole. Come on, do your thing. Do something. Do something! Yeah, That one's not too powerful against these guys, but... Ow! I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Does that mean I should actually use a healing potion? Alright, fine. Man! Die. Glad that one didn't blow up. Whoa. Okay, I'm on a potion. Die. Still send you after me? Yes. She must have thought I was in over my head again. You are. Well, she's right. Yes, she is. These monsters are getting stronger, and I could use your help. Mm hmm. I'm going after the fiend that was attacking Sill on the bridge. Will you join me? No, the question is will you join me? So, now we've got this guy that totally randomly goes off by himself. Oh, and also, if you're worried about having your minions get killed, you don't have to worry. Oh my god, that's loud and annoying. You don't have to worry about your minions getting killed. If they get to zero health, they are immortal, and they run, ara run around and uh, try to escape like complete morons until their health comes back, and that naturally comes back. So it's perfect. I love that. I mean, your minions are as powerful as they are. My mana is low. Yep, he just got beat up. 
But he distracted them for a while. Do a barrel roll! Oh, stop that. Uh-oh. Level! Nice Look at all of them! Fun stuff. So yeah, you don't have to worry about your minions dying, or, which was a very common thing you had to worry about in Diablo. So yeah, death is basically something you're going to avoid if you can, but it's not. It, it's yeah. So it's definitely something you're never going to use and say, okay, well I'm going to die this many times and it's going to be fine. No, you don't want to die. But it's not so bad that you're like, oh my god, I can never die. So it's just right on that. Oh yeah. So with the um the attack, you can kind of line up as many guys as you can. You can kind of look at the walls and see how the walls are shaped to see if you can hit them. So you actually position yourself and then fire it to see how many you can hit. Like, well, I don't think I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try to hit both barrels. No, not from here. Let's try it from here. Ooh, close! And of course, since there's usually more than just two mobs, you can generally get Pretty darn close. Also, you can't jump down here and kill those guys there just for show. Oh, by the way, whenever these things are here, yeah, lots of guys. Your leap attacks suck, buddy. And my pet is now back to its normal thing. I think it's been that way for a while, but I didn't notice. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, hit me for you. Ah, he kicked him back down in there. That's awesome. That's actually kind of rare. I have, I have not actually seen them do that. I mean, yeah, they'll knock him over or something, but usually they don't actually. Okay. Oh, that one's a, one of the powerful ones. <laughs> Wasted a lot of money, but I killed them all. So this is just a very fun game. And as I'm showing you, it's definitely doable the hardest difficulty. I'm doing this all one hand. Holy stab. Of course, I'm not going to have his health pretty soon, but... In a way, that's kind of a good thing. This game gives you a lot of power as it is. Mana is low. Oh, I wish I had more mana. Hmm, mana potion. Wait, how do you come out of the... I got him all. Oh, 